Hello and welcome to episode 37 of Cooking Every Food in the Game. We're in Lumbridge Swamp today. This will be where we start, but it will not be the only location we travel to. We are catching and cooking eels today, and we are starting in the swamp caves. If you haven't been here before, you will need a rope and a light source. However, we have been here before, and we have this beautiful burning fire of eternal light, so we don't need a light source. We're going to hopefully not get hit by the wall beast. Excellent. And we're going to run south past all these little bugs, and we're going to catch ourselves slimy eel and cave eel. This is with our fishing rod and some bait. Now you can see I've got some other stuff in my inventory uh, and two fishing rods, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. First, let's cast our line in and catch, there we are, a cave eel, another cave eel, and a slimy eel. There we go. So now we have caught both. There are two types of eel we can get here. Let's move on to the next location, which would be Canifus, as we need to start the process of turning one of our fishing rods into an oily fishing rod. However, I've forgot my cache, so we will still go to Canifus via the house, but we're going to have to stop off at the bank first and grab some coins. Let's use our carol portal here. Excellent. So we'll go to the bank and we'll grab some coins and I'll be back shortly. Alright, we got some cash and we are going to go to the general store, which is over here. Trade this guy for a sample bottle. We'll be needing this to make our blemish oil to oil up our fishing rod. And so next we are going to require the use of our pestle and mortar in order to grind up a snail. Now we've been in Mauritania Swamp here before, uh, killing and cooking snails. So go check that episode out if you haven't. But we're just going to find ourselves a snail here. It's this one. Ochre blemish snail. This might do us. There we go, thin snail, perfect. Let's get out of here. Can use a thin snail or a fat snail for this. We've just obtained the thin snail, so let's grind that up. There we go, and we now have blemish snail slime in our sample bottle. And you can see I've pre-prepared here a Haralander potion, unfinished by just adding a clean Haralander to a vial of water. And we're gonna combine the two together to make blemish oil. Oh, now we're not going to drink that. We're going to use that blemish oil on a fishing rod. We rub the oil into the rod, and so now we have fishing rod and oily fishing rod. The oily fishing rod is what's required to catch our next type of eel, being the lava eel. So let's use the Tavoli teleport tablet here and run south to the entrance to the Tavoli dungeon. Now a bit of trivia while we're running down here. These cave eels uh, can be made into the Dorgashan dish, eel sushi, where you wrap them in swamp weed. However, we don't have, as a human, the cooking prowess to make that. So head to Dorgashan and try your eel sushi today. We're here to just cook the eels themselves. All right, so we run south here. Here we are, and another bait fishing spot in the lava rivers. And so we're going to catch ourselves. There we are, a raw lava eel. Excellent. So we've caught our three types of eels here. Now, these are the only three eels that we can cook ourselves. However, there are several other eels that we can catch and obtain cooking experience from. Right, so we're just I'm just going to show those off because We've been a bit starved of cooking episodes lately, so why not do a little more activity to give the people what they want? So what we're going to do here is return to the house and use the fairy ring. And we're going to go to 
Uh, BJS. Here we go. The island near Zalandra. Right where we kill the uh, money snake. Or what used to be the money snake. Right, so now we're in the toxic poison wastelands of Zalandra. If we check the world map, you can see we're a long way from where we started. Right, here we have Ardoin here. So we're all the way on the southeastern side of the map, for those who haven't been here before. Here we have more bait fishing spots. Oh, I'm a goose! <laughs> we need 87 fishing! Well, luckily in a previous episode we made ourselves some Admiral Pies, so let me go back and grab one of those, and return! Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Again, previous episodes coming in handy here. We have ourselves an Admiral Pie to boost our fishing level. So let's eat that. And now we can cast our line into the swamp and obtain a Sacred Eel. Where we have an eat option on that. You see, we've seen what these eels did to the Zalandra tribe. It seems remarkably unwise. So what we should do instead is use a knife to extract the contents. So if we do use a knife on the Sacred Eel... Ah! We obtain Zolra's Scales. That's an alternative way to obtain Zolra Scales there. The number of scales you receive will actually scale with your cooking level. Right, so we've got 90 cooking, so we obtain 6 there. I think if you push towards 99 cooking, you should be getting uh, 9 Zolra Scales there. Excellent. Now I've got another stop. Right, so back to the house. And this time we'll use our Mounted Glory to go to Karunja. And we'll be running west to the top of the volcano to drop in to see our friend the Tsar. Let's climb down these rocks. Right, so if we enter this cave here, we are now in Mor Ulrek. And what we want to do here is demonstrate that we are a legend and we're going to show our fire cape to this bloke. And we're going to go through the hot vent door into the center part of Mor Ulrek. Once we're in here we're going to run east and then far south. Southeast as it's otherwise known. And we have another bait fishing spot. Again, I'm a goose! Oh, for God's sake. Right, so these things are bloody a lot more hot than the lava eels we previously caught. And so we need our ice gloves from the bank. So let's go and grab those. Alright, bait fishing spot. There we have it, an infernal eel. If we try and eat that, it's now hardened and we wouldn't want to test our teeth against one of these. And if we use our knife on the infernal eel, nothing happens because these things are too hard and so we'll have to get out a hammer. Here we go, and if we use the hammer on the infernal eel, we get tockle. You can either get tockle, lava scale shards or onyx bolt tips when you crush the infernal eels. Right, then now there is one more type of eel. So what we're going to do is teleport with our farming cape to the farming guild. Right, and then run to the east and south. Through mulch. Bit of a grim looking place this. Some lizard men about. You don't scare me, champion. Luckily we've got our explorer's ring on to recharge our energy. And we're going to be running to Boaty. Hello, champion. And we're going to go to Mulch Island. Right, we're here. We have the activity for aerial fishing. 
Right, so if we talk to this guy here, if we free up what's in our hands, he'll give us a go with his cormorant. Excellent, so we'll have to pick up a few of these uh, king worms here as bait. So we'll take a couple of these, we'll come over to the shoreline, and we'll send our cormorant out to get us. No, not a bluegill. No. No. <laughs> not a common tench. No. There we go. There we go. Thank you. We have a mottled eel. The final eel of our series here today. Uh, and while we can't cook this ourselves, we do get cooking XP if we use a knife on it. Because that will turn it into fish chunks, which again we can't eat, but the cormorant will eat in exchange for collecting fish. Right, and there we go. It's returned as another mottled eel. Okay. So here we have raw cave eel, raw slimy eel, raw lava eel. We've cut up our sacred eel, we've hammered our infernal eel, and we have a mottled eel as well. Right, let's head back now to our favourite kitchen. Let's cook. After all, that's what we're here to do. Right, so we'll cook the slimy eel first on the cooking range. Beautiful gone from green to a nice reddy brown colour for cooked slimy eel. Raw cave eel. We'll just cook them all, why not? To make a nice brown cooked cave eel. And then we'll use our raw lava eel to get a cooked lava eel. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the bit of extracurricular activities there of going to collect the other eels. Hope you learned something as I did too. I hope you're enjoying the series. We're going to be more consistent with these cooking videos now. We're back in the swing of things. Leave the video a like and a comment if you enjoyed or what you enjoyed about it. And subscribe so you can keep up with the journey. Until then, I'll see you next time.